Hi everyone, I am Dr. Neha and today we are going to start with a new series which is park pointers or park tables. Okay, whatever important pointers and whatever tables are given in our textbook of community medicine, park textbook of community medicine, we are going to cover them via small episodes because sometimes in your examinations, in fact, most of the times they frame questions directly from these important pointers or important tables. So let us start with the first important one for today. So today I'm going to tell you a commonly asked question which is about the contraindications of intrauterine devices. They ask this as a viva question. They can ask you in the form of MCQs. In fact, as an MCQ, it has come many times. So let's see how we can learn it. So contraindications of intrauterine devices we are going to see today. If you look over here, there are they are divided into absolute and relative contraindications. So how can you remember it? For absolute contraindications, the first one that you have have is suspected pregnancy. If a woman is, if you are suspecting some woman to be pregnant, we will not at all insert an intrauterine device. On the other hand, here you can see in the relative one, the first one is anemia and menorrhagia. Why anemia and menorrhagia are relative? Because um, now you all know that most common side effect which is reported due to intrauterine device insertion is bleeding. So if a woman already is suffering from an anemia and menorrhagia, this could be a little uh, dangerous in them. Okay, So it's taken as a relative contraindication. So first let us complete the absolute ones. Okay, the second absolute one is PID, pelvic inflammatory diseases. Now, if anybody has this PID, we cannot insert an intrauterine device. Vaginal bleeding of unknown, undiagnosed etiology. There is some bleeding from the vagina. We do not know the cause. Intrauterine device cannot be inserted. Cancer of the cervix, uterus, adenexa and pelvic tumors. If there are cancers of uterus, adenexa or any other pelvic tumor, intrauterine device should not be inserted. Last but not the least, this comes as a very, very important MCQ based this thing. Previous ectopic pregnancy. Previous ectopic pregnancy, guys, is not a relative but an absolute contraindication. Many students mark it as a relative one. It's actually an absolute contraindication. Previous ectopic pregnancy. Coming to the relative one, see, anemia menorrhagia. You can remember it by the way I told you. Now look at the next one. History of PID since last pregnancy. Up to absolute mein dekho, it's PID. That is absolute. But if anybody has a history of PID in last pregnancy, it's relative. Okay. Moving to next one. Absolute mein tha vaginal bleeding of unknown undiagnosed etiology. In relative, it is purulent cervical discharge. So absolute mein vaginal and on the relative side, it's purulent cervical discharge. Look at the fourth one. Cancers of cervix, uterus, vagina, adenexa, pelvic tumors are absolute. But if you look at relative distortions of uterine cavity due to any congenital malformation of fibroids. They give all of this at the options. Okay. So, here this one becomes your relative contraindication. And last May on the uh, absolute side we had previous ectopic pregnancy. On the relative side we are going to have an unmotivated person. Why is it a relative contraindication? Because every time a woman gets an intrauterine device inserted she has to feel for the thread. All right, whether to know whether the IOD is still in place. So if she's unmotivated, she's not willing to check for the thread, we should avoid putting an intrauterine device in. So I hope this way, the way that I've taught you by comparing absolute relative, you will remember this topic because it is one of the most commonly asked topics in examinations. Guys, I also take classes on an academy uh, uh, profile on an academy app. So every morning I conduct at 9 a.m. free classes for community medicine in the form of a last minute revision series. Currently we are doing for NEET PG. Do try to attend it. Just download the Unacademy app and attend the classes for free to get a better understanding of community medicine. Thank you so much everyone. I'll see you again with next PSM pointer slash table. Good luck.